Hello everyone, welcome to another live session with Steven. Uh, first of all, I would like to say sorry for the sudden disappearance of me. Uh, I was doing live session like almost every day, or almost every day, every two days or three days once. But um, due to the Dash Relief conference that I was explaining to you guys, through, uh, I think the last few months, uh, we were busy with that. The Dash Relief conference actually happened on uh, March 13 and 14 last week, and it was simply mind blowing. That's how good the conference was. It was super duper mind blowing. And we all were busy with that. And that's why we couldn't, uh, I couldn't do the live stream. So today I'm back with another interesting uh, live session. Today we have Mr. Asu Rajan Charlie with us. And uh, Asu is a, is a uh, he, Asu completed his uh, degree in uh, medical science. He is a medical science student and he completed a degree in medical science. And he he was he's still working as a medis, uh, sales medical sales representative, and he's a very uh, upcoming popular stand up comedian. So from a medical representative, how he turned into a stand up comedian? That is what he's going to share with us today, and it's also his life as a stand up comedian. How is he looking at the world right now? His perspective and the funny stories that happened and everything. And we also have some of his comedy clips that I've uh, made that like I've already with you guys so I will show you later in between during the segment so that it will give a nice introduction maybe I can show you guys a video right now as an introduction of Asu then we can bring Asu to the stage so if you guys are watching do comment say hi to me or oh, there is someone said hello hello guys uh, and I will show you guys the video right now which video should I show Okay, I show you a video that he performed in, I think this one is Job Factory. Let's watch the video. Continue. <laughs> Can you explain the logic to me? Huh? How come my life value less than my leg? <laughs> Sir, you die ready, we give you 200,000. You lost one limb, you give you 400,000. <laughs> what kind of insurance is this? Life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the funny, one of the funny videos that we have about Asu. So without any further ado, let's welcome Asu to the stream. Hello Asu, you are here. Oh, Asu, say hi to hi. everyone. Asu, there are people hi. saying hi to you. Asu, everyone say Asu, there is a fan for you. Hi, Asu. hi, hi. Asu, hi, Stephen. Hello, thank you for commenting. You. I don't know your name. <laughs> yep. I don't know your name because it only says Facebook user here, probably because you haven't given uh, you know, the access to stream yet to use your name, but it's okay, no problem at all. So, Asu, how are you? Yes, I'm good. I'm good, Stephen. Really, Asu, you're not lovers or anything, or what? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay to be nervous. I'm also very nervous. I'm just covering it, covering it up. So, okay. So, thank you for joining this show. And I know you are working. You you are, have a lot of responsibilities, also because um, oh, somebody said hi, Stephen. I think you know this person. This is uh, yes, your wife. Very well. <laughs> yeah, because you you thank you for spending your time with me because you have a lot of responsibilities, right? Because you are a father who yeah. need to take care of a five-year-old kid and you also helping your wife uh, Priya doing a business and everything sometimes you even does some baking and sometimes you do delivery and stuff like that and you are also the medical uh, representative your medical sales representative who need to go to doctors and talk about certain products or this one you have and you are also stand-up comedian and you also constantly think about the comedies, materials and everything. Last time all, if any funny things happen in our life, you're like, oh, funny and all. Now you need to note down these funny things so that you can go and tell about these things to others and everything. You're doing so much of things as well. So thank you for spending your time with me. So uh, first of all, I have this one question that I want to ask you. As a, your life as a stand-up comedian, I, I think it's very funny and, and full of adventures. But how did you go and tell your parents that you want to do stand-up comedy? So, because uh, the stand-up comedian field is not a conventional thing that many people will do. Even if you ask me, I'm a guy who can make people laugh, but I don't know whether I will go and do that or not. I don't know whether I dare to do it or anything. So how did you start, Asu? Is Asu froze? 
Oh, sorry guys. Asu froze. I was thinking why you keep up. Okay, so you are you are, you have a very you know the, the the smiley face and everything. I thought you were listening to me, but then you froze. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I went with you. <laughs> it's okay. I was actually asking a question. How did you go okay. and tell your parents about you going to do a stand up and going to become a stand up comedian? Because it's not a conventional thing that many people will do. So how is the conversation with your parents goes? What what happened also? Okay, uh, what happened was um, when I got this uh, first uh, show outside um, show, it was in uh, it was in Tamil. So I mm, told my okay. father that uh, I am going to perform a comedy in this uh, this uh, event. So he asked me, a "Comedy? Yeah, can I? So I told him about a fifteen minutes class. So, so he asked me what topic. I say no topic. I just uh, go and uh, talk the list of jokes that I have uh, about 10-15 jokes. Yeah. Without topic, how are you going to make jokes? So I'm like, <laughs> and, and I'll try. La. I say I'll try. <laughs> I didn't say I can. Or, I say I'll try. Mm. So okay. So you want me to come? Huh? I say yeah. Then he say cannot. So I was like okay. Uh, I cannot laugh. I am very far. It, it is far. It is far. Uh, it was in Klang. So my father is in Kajak. So, okay. so to drive, he is not in the optimum health condition back then. So he got some back problem. So he said, I cannot sit very long. I cannot drive very sit in the car or sit in one position very long. Mm -hmm. so I said, never mind. So what I did was I, I record the, the thing in, in phone uh, and then I pass it to him for him to see, to watch. Laugh. So this was his reaction, right? Eh? You're looking at the phone and ah okay lah. After finish, he just say ah okay lah. He never even laughed. No, it was a comedy <laughs> video. He was watching it without any reaction. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but uh, you see, the, the thing uh, uh, I wanted to share is, he just share. My I just share with him. So and any upcoming shows, I just share the poster I, I tell him I'm going to do a show oh so as times goes by he he like okay he, 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 he didn't ask me didn't ask me like basically I just update him well what happened to you also because when we go and update usually we go and do, we don't go and update our parents what we do <laughs> okay? okay because you are a father now so you are you grown up you have a kid on your own but you still go and update your father about this comedy and usually not many people will do that and when we do that also you know we expect yeah. some things like from your parents like good job i'm proud yeah. of you or at yeah. least if you're showing a comedy <laughs> video laugh laugh a bit yeah. so he never did anything well, how does yeah. you feel after that okay uh, to be honest uh, see i don't go with any expectation I do this because I want to update him. I feel happy about me updating him my progress. From open my goal, I don't update him. La, but if I got shows, I will up, I don't update him. I tell, hey, you know, everybody laugh at my joke. I don't do this. I just go and show him my video for him to watch. That's it. Uh, I didn't uh, I, I didn't expect. I don't expect him also. He's a baby boomer. So uh, but I understand that he's happy. I know that because uh, he don't tell directly to me. He will tell to my cousin, sister who is staying with him. So I know he's happy. But another video is a very uh, famous video. You know, we went into this uh, top 10 Jodi Atraga all. So I send the video to him for him to watch and tell him that uh, this is the video that uh, they are talking about in the radio. So he <laughs> same thing, he watched the video. When Sanura coming? <laughs> so yes, my cousin is there. When my daughter is coming to see him? <laughs> no comment or nothing about the video. No comment on the video. Okay. For, for, for those of you who is watching, that video is really, really funny. Do follow Asurajan. His name is Asurajan. Uh, go follow his page and you can watch the video there. It's a very funny video that made about X. Literally about X. And we are thinking what type of content we can make out of X, but he did a very funny video with his wife using very limited resources that he had. And that video uh, was nominated as top 10 in a competition that run by our 
our radio channel, uh, uh, radio channel, what is it? So he was under top 10 category, right, Rasu? So do follow Asu and and go and watch the video. It's very funny. I don't have the video to show you guys, but you should watch it. I definitely suggest you to watch it. So that funny video you showed to him, there is no response from him. No response. No, no, no. His interest is when he can see my daughter. <laughs> Not really the comedy video, but I uh, my intention is I want to update him. That's, uh, okay. I want him to know which video. He will have this, this uh, which video they're talking about. Huh? What video this fellow do? Uh, but he, they won't ask directly. So it is our responsibility to update them. This is the video, I like, believe. Oh, they, they won't say all this, but uh, it's, it's our responsibility. Like. Yeah. It Even though your parents, happy. yeah, it's, it's, it's about you. Why you are updating about this to your parents? Even though you've grown up, you are doing your own things and all, because it makes you happy. And that is why you're doing it. And you don't expect anything from them. You don't expect them to say, nice, good job or anything. You just share because it makes your heart happy. Yeah, it's uh, my comedy is uh, from his gene. So okay. uh, I, I, I admire him. He can do very good jokes. Really, really. Okay. okay. So I admire him. So I'm telling him my little, little progress to him. For him, it may not be funny up to his standard. I don't mm. know. I'm just, uh, I'm just <laughs> telling you. <laughs> you know, that's why no reaction. This one you call funny. Huh? <laughs> this one all people I, laugh yeah. at. You know, I think I think knowing parents, especially if they are a baby boomer and all right, they will be very happy that you are doing certain stuff, but they just don't tell to people. Yeah. yeah. We have a question, so why don't we take it? Okay. Uh, okay. What is your comment for people who seek for recognition for the work that we do? Are you wait, uh, I need to understand this question. Wait, uh, what is your comment for people who seek recognition for the work we do? Are you what to answer? Uh? You see, it's, uh, it's, it's, I also don't know. Lah. See, it <laughs> depends on you. <laughs> okay. Uh, recognition. Lah. See, if, if it is matters to you, then, then. Go ask lah. Something. Go ask lah. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I don't expect uh, recognition from my father because, uh, see, uh, but I will appreciate uh, uh, recognition from my fellow comedians. You understand? Okay, okay, understand. Uh, so, uh, Asu, you, uh, that one good lah. I think you can work on it. Uh, this one, this one will make uh, uh, me uh, to do better. So it's uh, uh, very important who you want from the the recognition from who and why. You ask this first, or okay. you just like like uh, you are frustrated, you know. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's okay to get recognition. It's not a bad thing at all. Uh, you just, but you you also okay, need recognition for the work that you do no. because that will keep you going. One thing, yeah, uh, one thing. This one just come to my mind. Uh, mm, yeah. You want recognition? You need to earn. You need to earn the recognition. You don't demand recognition. You know, I like I don't demand my re recognition from my father. I should earn it. I should do a video that, or a, a comedy show, or something that, when he see, he laugh. You know, I shouldn't give just give him a video and say that's a funny video. Everybody else laugh. You also should laugh. That's not the way it's supposed to be, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's another thing. What 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 the talk, the one the pop up? What? Is is the same? Is the same question. I just oh, show it again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay to get recognition, especially if you're doing something that required to get recognition, like Asu, the stand-up comedian. If if you go perform in a stage and nobody laughed or anything, he will feel sad because that is recognition. People recognizing him as a stand-up comedian. He needs that. So I so that you can perform properly and everything. And you earned it in a way because your joke was funny and you earned it. I, For your father, just do it. Without any when uh, when i do joke and people don't laugh uh, i look at myself okay where did it went wrong huh? why did people didn't uh, in this case the recognition is the laugh we put it that way laugh okay so when i tell a joke people don't laugh so something wrong with me telling the joke or, or the joke itself so i need to do the analysis not 
why that fellow not laughing? <laughs> yeah, la. I mean, you ask the question why that fellow not laughing, but uh, put, uh, looking at you, not something wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you also for sharing that. Moving on, uh, I have this question. Mm. So now you go and okay. tell to your father, parents, and uh, everything ready, and they are not opposing you. And I don't know whether they are supporting you or not, but you are just doing your work and everything. So how did you start to do stand-up comedy as well? Like I said again, it's not a conventional field that many people will choose. And even though people can make other people laugh, like I can make other people laugh, I can make people happy. But I don't know whether I will go and do stand-up comedy or not. I don't dare to go and do that because I don't know. So how did you start as well? Okay, I, I start... <coughs> See, I actually... Uh... I you mentioned this word which is uh, very very true and stick in, in me actually which is uh, I rediscovered this thing I as far as I remember I'm a funny guy but I didn't uh, recognize this See, recognition important also la. self recognition is self recognition is the most important thing first <laughs> then the other recognition so I, comes yeah, <laughs> then from outside <laughs> so uh, by, uh, when I recognize this thing, uh, I start to, okay, how I start now? Okay, uh, for a very long time, I didn't take any action. I'm a funny guy, but I didn't take any action with regards to stand up comedy or what, you know, okay. because I don't know, or maybe I'm scared, fear, you know, fear of failure, fear of, when you do something out of your way, out of norm, everything is new, it's not going be easy and comfortable so all the thing i i like block me i don't never mind la, later la, sometime after la, you know you know after 40 years ka, after 50 years ka, you know this kind of thing later la, later, la, later, later, la, later la, and all that thing when later la, when i now i'm busy uh, i'm busy working i don't have time for all these uh, all these kind of things and then priya was already when we uh, you know we, uh, we met et ideas um, and then Priya already started doing chocolates and uh, cakes. So <clears throat> when she goes full time, she, she, uh, she, my wife. Uh, so she, she always asked me this question, which I don't have the answer at that time. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? So I, I, I'm like, okay. And being an environment like Iti Ideas, where everybody follows their heart, so I. I want to do this. I, I know what I'm good at. It's, it's one thing that I know is I'm a funny guy, which is uh, directly is, is comedy, la, you know. So this comedy thing is like, okay, what can we do? Then we went for a say, conventional way or normal way people become a comedian or stand up a comedy and is <clears throat> they go open mic, uh, they do three minutes and then they do very good and then they progress from there up to 10 minutes or 15 minutes and Level then they by show. Level okay. by level, and then only they go and do a show, a corporate show or whatever show. I started with a corporate show. Hey, how did you got the client to do corporate show? <laughs> I started with the uh, easy ideas annual dinner. I proposed oh. myself, can I do? Uh, can I do a fifteen minutes uh, joke? Uh, so they say okay lah. First they say do, uh, they ignore, and then they say okay, second year. So <laughs> after that. Show, but I didn't take any serious action about it. So we went for people another. Uh, God, a lot of people laugh, a lot of people encourage. It gives me a good feeling, but then I didn't take any uh, serious action about it. I just uh, okay lah, good lah. Okay, I did it ready. Uh, you did. I'm a comedy ready. Nothing happened lah. Okay. Then after that, I went for uh, this. Uh, we, we all went for it. The idea how thing we went for this comedy show uh, by Dr. Jason Young. So, comedy, uh, stupid or what, I think, uh, in PJ Life. But, so, after coming, after I thought it was for me. <laughs> no, no, that's the show name. The show stupid name is Stupid or What? Stupid or What? Uh, okay, we go okay. and find out. La. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, after that show, uh, uh, Priya told me, hey, I think you can do this now. So it gives me confidence, you know, recognition again. So it gives me confidence. Uh, but then I didn't do anything. Two years later, we went for another comedy show. 
<coughs> this one uh, I think uh, Douglas Lim's uh, comedy show. And the, in this show, I was very much connected to the comedy that they are telling and all that. I feel like I should be on the stage performing, you know. Mm. What am I doing? I should perform. La. I can tell also la, this joke. All. So after that show, Kilango hints me like, hey, now you know where to come. La. Then after that, I went for <coughs> uh, as an audience for open mic. Then the next week, I, I tell them la, when I went for audience after the show, I go and meet the owner of the club. Uh, crack house comedy club result uh, i met him i said i want to try this can uh, next week you just come and put your name and try that's it uh. so okay. so fast so, so easy this this moment i was thinking because i do shows already i am very good i was thinking i am very good uh, and also i watch when i watch the as an audience the open mic this fellas all coming and do joke i definitely can do joke la, you know Mm -hmm. That kind of uh, arrogant, uh, very arrogant. So when, when the next, uh, it's what I in, in fact, I told him I did a comedy show for corporate uh, 15 minutes. He was telling me 15 minutes, that's a very long time for a comedy show. I mean, a stand up comedy. 15 minutes. For a person so who is starting it out. So I don't, I don't know. I thought, oh, oh that means I'm good. Lah. I, I was thinking this way. Then uh, what happened was when I tried, I finished my joke in one and a half minutes. They give me three minutes. The the standard uh, international way is first time they give you three minutes. Uh, I finished in one and a half minutes. I was nervous. My leg was shaking. I forgot what I should say. So that's when I I I realized I humbled down that I'm actually no I need to do more. That but the result encouraged me recognition. So. <laughs> It okay. matters when you are so studying it out. After the, after the show, he asked you, you are a funny guy. This is the first thing he said to me. You keep, I saw something in you. You just keep coming back. This was in 2019, April. So after that, I, I, I frequently go more open mic and then I improve my jokes. And then I, I, I start to learn from people. I humble down a lot after open mic. Only because down yeah, down. because your your you have done the corporate mm. shows before and you know, for fifteen minutes and all. When they give for three minutes, you are like easy job. I can do. So three and minutes, you come on. Your, come on, three not minutes. My level. Three, <laughs> yeah. three minutes, not my level. I but when you go, yeah, but when you actually go and stand in front of the stage and do the comedy, you finish it off in one minute. One minute also. So then only you start to you know practice more. Whatever that we do, I think we need to practice. Even though we know about certain stuff and everything, we still need to practice, keep ourselves up to the level so that we can perform and everything. This is the picture of you perform. This is a crack house, right? Uh, so. uh, this is crack house. I think this, this show is uh, when I open for Mat Sabah and uh, uh, Dr. Jason. No. The person who I watched the comedy show, now I'm opening for that. Opening for that. So it was a very nice experience. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. How did you see, like, we have some other pictures here. You want to say something about this picture, right, Asu? Just now. <laughs> this picture is very, very, very uh, nice picture. <laughs> okay. Why? This show, uh, if you can see, the, 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 the name is Kim Rabo. He's my friend. He's the one who encouraged me uh, a lot for Tamil uh, uh, stand-up scene in Malay. Uh, in, in, you know? uh, he okay. encouraged me a lot. He the okay. one uh, uh, made me... Uh, in somebody in the stand-up scene. So <clears throat> this was his show. Okay, I'm not in that show. Okay, I went there as an audience. Audience, okay. Audience. So before I went for the show, but see, by this time all I already start following my heart into this. Place. When I start comedy, you know, and I start listening more to my heart. So my heart says something like this: When I get ready for his show, uh, I. I took that baju, that shirt to uh, t-shirt to wear. My heart say, wear nice baju. How is they suddenly ask you to perform? Oh, okay, okay. This my heart say this. Uh, my mind say this one all uh, paid show. It's already fixed to perform. Who not to perform on? No need. This is what my mind say. And then I wear the biasa baju and go. <laughs> this this is the biasa baju lah. This is the biasa baju. baju. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I after the lunch, 
Eh, hey, lunch pula. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Now lunch time. After a break, <laughs> after the show break, uh, uh, in between, you know, they got breaks. Mm-hmm. The show, the, that show, they will usually have breaks in between, right? One, one break. So after the break, uh, Prakash was the host for the show. Prakash Daniel is another Prakash comedian. That Very famous. Yes. Famous stand-up comedian. Okay. He, uh, during break, I go and see him, just hang out with them and all that. So, Asu, how oh, five minutes can do? Uh, when he <laughs> so, you don't know, you know. Okay. I was shivering. I was sweating already. This, what is this? I, I, then I was like, I'm very nervous. Like, I'm very scared. I tell him the truth. Like, I was suddenly coming out. I nervous. Like, okay. Then he was like, you guys, uh, last time what, we crave for this thing, you know, five minutes old, okay, okay, you guys, privilege, lah, this one, this one, okay, okay, I do, I do, I do. Then I hope off. <laughs> it was a sp- Asu, how did spontaneous. You, yeah, Asu, you know, before you go uh, for this comedy show itself, your heart says, where's uh, a nice baju? Uh, how come suddenly, uh, if they call you or anything, but you never listen to your heart, you just go wear your shirt and everything and just normal baju and when when this thing happened right suddenly they call you uh, if if i was there i would scared i would be literally scared not because i need to perform in five more minutes i would be literally scared like how did my heart know this what what's happening what is happening hey, okay you know this whether you are dreaming or whether this is reality this cannot be really happening kind of feeling all the so it's just to simple our mentors used to say this your heart knows the blueprint of your heart you just need to trust and follow it. Okay, Asu, there is some request and question from the audience. There is somebody asked, Asu, one joke, please. Okay, can. Okay, uh, very spontaneous. Let's do this, Asu. One joke. Can put the video lah. <laughs> no, no, no. You tell a joke, Asu. Who would you cannot? <laughs> tell a joke, ah. Oh, you suddenly asking me already, ah. Yeah. Tell like the joke, joke, Asu. Ah, can, can. Joke, go yeah. ahead. Whatever and, joke. Uh, this one, uh, I like uh, joke. Uh, oh, suddenly you ask me. I like this joke. Uh, I like this joke. This is a classic joke. Okay? See, <clears throat> my father-in-law, he does this every time I'm, I'm there, you know. I went to their house, you know, my in-law's house, and I went there. Night time, he used to uh, take uh, the, the balanced rice and everything. He, he will uh, feed the dog, the okay. stray dog uh, out there outside of the house every time he want to feed the dog okay he take rice and then he pause he will he will tell this asu i'm taking rice for the dogs you wanna (laughs) (laughs) without understanding the real meaning for this question i was answering yes for a very long time (laughs) <laughs> then only I realized <laughs> what you're asking. <laughs> I'm taking like rice for dogs. You are not, not comparing you with it's the dogs, not. and you innocently telling that, yeah, I want the rice to yeah. eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. For the person who asked the one joke, please, I hope that you are also answer the question. We also have a one short video. I would like to show it to you guys. Uh, maybe you can watch it and laugh. I hope it's not the same video. Okay, this video. Uh, highlight of the they are calling, you know. They call. Hello, Mr. Asu. Yes. I need to verify you. Uh, tell me your last four digit IC number. Then you call me. You want me to verify whether I'm the one talking to you. <laughs> This is the comedy about the bank, right? So bank people will the call and ask you to verify whether it's you or not. And everything. <laughs> so, so your comedy right. is most of the time revolves around what's happening around your life and everything, right? What okay. happened to me? <laughs> what happened to you? Okay. We have a question, Asu. And I think uh, you can answer this. Do you, okay, do you procrastinate to practice? If yes, how do you overcome it? Like, oh. like well, just now we say, right? You need mm. to practice every time so that you can go and perform. So they mm. ask, do you procrastinate to practice? If yes, means mm. how do you overcome it? Yes, uh, I'm very blessed. I have somebody to keep 
uh, scolding me and remind me which is my, <laughs> which is which is my wife hey pretty ready or not do you think is so good ah uh? <laughs> you know <laughs> he will ask like this uh, for the person who asked you and uh, one joke this is another joke for you <laughs> you know so constant reminder yes i do procrastinate but uh, um, i also know like for example like uh, today i have a online show online uh, open mic not show mm. online open mic uh, i will spend some time to prepare myself my practice ground is open mic so before open mic like like for example wednesday was open mic so i free up some some of my time later in the evening to to practice what joke i want to tell how and all that and then i go and uh, uh, this one tell okay so when come to comedy not so much of procrastinating because uh, this is what i love to do so naturally you ask me to do this i i will i will i will i will say no to any other job uh, except except comedy <laughs> so okay. not much not really la but for practice yes if you give me comedy job i will do that first but to, for practice and all that yes uh, you know sometimes you feel and am i later la and all that will come uh, you set the end goal and do it and uh, said then go and do it i'm also a last minute person so i know that don't don't stress up last minute just uh, practice and, uh, earlier a bit lah you know okay that is your way of how you overcome it and everything lah okay so we all we already reach 132 already okay. uh, so today you said you have a online open mic right can we all join people who are watching <laughs> we need can to i will share them no 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 i think it's a uh, facebook uh, live uh, they will stream oh. it live so i will okay, send okay. the link I, I don't have now i think uh, I okay okay maybe you can after the session you can go to the live stream again uh, the video then you can put your link there so we all can watch the live session we would love to watch yeah. you do it so and i hope you don't do the live sessions like this like work from home online open mic we have a picture of asu doing comedy show <laughs> This was in lockdown. <laughs> lockdown, uh, lockdown. You cannot do anything lockdown. and all this stuff. Right? So actually, this this lockdown is the one give you the ideas to start doing comedy sketch videos, right? So yeah, because uh, I was so frustrated, we cannot do any uh, any show, live show. So what happened was, hello, I froze already. Yeah. No, no, no. Can Go ahead. Ah, Can. Okay. So what what happened was, uh, then only slowly open mic. Uh, online open mic start coming up and then but then no shows but then uh, i was so very frustrated so we look at what we can do we, you know what you have start where you are use what you have do what you can uh, so looking back okay i have this skill of, of i can do a sketch comedy sketch so but then we have problem that uh, uh, one person how to do sketch <laughs> at least you need i'm not so good in editing to put beside you know two asu talking to each other that kind of editing i'm not there yet still learning so i asked uh, my wife's help priya can help me as uh, she can but i don't want to be in the video ayo how la another problem <laughs> can can but cannot so we think so we angle it in a way okay your voice can be in video uh, ah yeah, sir okay voice all can no problem okay you just give me your voice uh, i will camera will face me you no need to be in the frame so we adjust and then uh, that's how we did the the egg video and then mm. a few other videos la it's become a very iconic voice after that <laughs> yeah yes. you guys should go and watch it asu have a tons of funny videos in his instagram and also in facebook uh maybe you guys can call for go follow asurajan i will type it out his name in the comment section so you guys can go search it asu or again uh, okay so that is name is coming yes uh, so rajan you guys can go and uh watch it go follow him and also watch his live uh, live live stream his comedy shows so that you guys can also whenever you have any troubles or any anything bothering you go ahead and uh, watch his video it's really funny you will love your ass off so thank yeah. you asu for that um sharing with us your life as a stand up comedy and how did you uh, talk to your father about you going to become a stand up comedian and how did you start as a stand up comedian and now you in your life right now 
you are taking all these things as a comedy materials things that happen around you even though when there is a lockdown you cannot do anything you still come up with a comedy video because that what you are passionate about and because of that video that you have produced you got the recognition from the radio channel and all the stuff you got nominated for awards and everything so thank you also thank you for keep inspiring us so good luck for your show today do comment uh, do uh, post us your uh, the group that you're going to do open mic so that we can join and we can watch uh, we can we can watch the open mic as well so thank you so bye bye